This video is going to show how to use a different kind of selection statement called an if statement. Um, so first the premise for the video. There's this place near my house called Monster Mini Golf where you go and it's all black light. It's pretty cool. But say we want our program to um, make an assessment of how good you're doing in the golf game as you go along. So have the program ask uh, how many times did you have to hit the golf ball. And then we can make some um, judgments of the person based on how many times they hit the ball. So let's say if the hits was bigger than 10 then we will say uh, you are horrible at this. All right. So the first thing I want to point out to you with if statements is that you can check for ranges of stuff. So I don't have to check specifically 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I can say if it's greater than something or less than something or equal to something, then um, I can do some particular thing. If I wanted to just check for the case that they're horrible, I can leave that if statement standing by itself. Um, otherwise, I can put another case in. I can say else. So if it's not, if they're not horrible, we can say, okay, you are okay at this. And I can leave it at that. I can just have it be an if and an else. So if it's not this one, then it goes into this one. But a lot of times we'll want to have um, several particular things checked. And if I want to put some in between here, I can use else if. So let's say else if hits is greater than 5, then we'll say, uh, we'll actually use this message for that. Okay, if hits greater than one then we'll say you are good at this and let's say they get a hole in one that'll be our else uh, you are awesome Ooh. a golf mini golf now, I am making a little bit of an assumption here. I'm assuming they're not going to type a negative number. I'm assuming that this else is going to be um, 1 if it's not bigger than 1 or bigger than 5 or bigger than 10. I'm trusting the user, which is not something you necessarily want to do, um, but in this just little simple example, I am trusting them. Okay, so here's a couple things. I can have as many else ifs as I want. I don't technically have to have a last case. I don't have to handle that one. Um, I can just have an if and an else if. I can have just an if and an else. I can have just an if. Um, and the order in which I've checked these has allowed me to not check both ends of the range. So if I always am checking greater than, greater than, greater than, and I'm decreasing my numbers, then I can write it just like this and it should work out. Um, other things about if statements. You can use integers with them. You can use doubles with them. You can use chars. You can use strings. It's pretty flexible what you use with these guys. Um, yeah, so that's basically uh, just to get you started on using an if statement.